That should be good. All right. I'm going to see if I can just get through an entire game of Betrayal at Club Blue. Hmm. Plumpo will be my name. I don't know if I want to do a normal one or turn that off. I know what I'm doing. Turn that up a little bit. I need that ambient noise. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make it crazy. We'll just do a normal one. Normal playthrough. I have several achievements that I haven't gotten yet, so, or endings. Rescuing Gemini J. <clears throat> Get in the club low and rescue the undercover agent Gemini J. He's in the VIP section and Big Mo's got him pinned. Oh, it doesn't give me that little special thing over here. Unfortunate. Just as you're crossing over the crevasse, a foul-smelling steam erupts over the canal. You can't avoid it. This smell might linger on you for a while. How do you react? Uh, I definitely don't accept the situation. I punch it. I punch the situation. I want to be wise, but I also want to be good at cooking. And just like in real life, you can't be both. Probably shouldn't have just spent all my money, but I have some rerolls, so I'll be fine. You close your eyes, hold your breath, and clench your fists, hoping not to ingest any of these foul vapors. <clears throat> well, I can't go any higher. of the foul-smelling foul -smelling odors reach your lungs, but holding your breath for so long did make you slightly dizzy. See ya, odor. I love how you get money for just playing the game. Conveniently unattended. Get me money. I don't need those yet. I'm just gonna keep money on here. Oh, a re roll. That's nice. That dumpster is way too strong for me. A 
That doesn't seem like a good idea. The door is being guarded by someone caught in a light slumber. Quietly open the door. All of these are too much for me right now. We'll come back. Is that a coffin? Before I want to, before I do anything else, I want to get that reroll pepper. Now we shall confront the paddle puddle. I'm determined. I should be able to. from the rain slicked puddle is real your reflection in the puddle calls to you offering comfort let's get a little wiser and then we'll look at the puddle Three. Oh no, that's pretty good though. Yeah, this game is just gambling. Your reflection stares back at you, and in it you see vast untapped potential. Let's reach in and pull something out. Oh, I did not realize I had these many conditions. That's all right. Nice. Oh boy, I don't have thousands of those already. Done all we can to the puddle. Oh, that's why there's a coffin. Distract the crowd with the timeless parable. I like my odds. You tell an old fable extolling the virtues of waiting in line. Will the crowd go for it? Hey, they'll do that at least. Uh, we can go a little higher. There we go. The fable is told artfully. Several people in line discuss its virtues afterwards. Your place in line doesn't change, but your oratory, oratory has effectively distracted the crowd. That's a fun word. You were the last in line full of rowdy, nervous misfits. Oh, so now I have to intimidate them. Dancing is probably physique. Yeah, let's dance. 
Oh wait, no, this is sneak. Taking advantage of the outside noise and shadow, you're slipping through the line undetected. I can't tell what the volume is for both of these, so hopefully it's not insane. Microphone and game-wise, I can't hear anything. Come on. There we go. You find yourself in the middle of the line. It's formless and there's no real order. People are just swimming around in this human amoeba that is the nightclub line. I like that guy. I like how she's just sitting. He's dancing. He's shrugging. Oh, he's really enjoying this guy's dance. Alright, let's intimidate these guys. You attempt to recreate a long-forgotten dance move popular in your youth. Will the crowd notice? No. Come on. One more. Come on. Oh, that was close. Several people in line feel uncomfortable with your theatrics. With nervous politeness, they make an opening for you to move up the line. You manage to find yourself at the front of the line. You've come a semi-long way to get here, and it feels just fine. Oh my gosh, that guy's arm. It just snaps. Pop. Let's talk to the bouncer. His gruff demeanor belies a nervous glance around the corner. We're at capacity in there. You still gotta wait. Call up the guard's boss and ask for a favor. Wrestle the guard to the ground. That's always the good option. Test your own patience by waiting for the guard to let you in. Ooh, all these are pretty... I bet we can deceive. Oh man. Oh no. Okay. Maybe we can't deceive, but maybe we can go somewhere else and do something else. can't see my my numbers put it over here or here or here or here that's probably good that's probably fine Jump for the ladder. Ooh. All these are out of my realm. Let's talk to this guy. The guard's still half asleep. Make enough noise and you might disturb his slumber. Uh, let's just talk to him. It takes 15 seconds for the guard to snap out of whatever pleasant thoughts he was having. I'm glad we could ruin that for him. I look like I'm from another planet. Okay, calm down. Bluff to the guard that you're needed in the kitchen. Surprise the guard with a witty remark? No. 
get the guard to open up to you by empathizing with him. I like that one. Wisdom. Can we get any wiser? A little bit. Let's try. Will this guard believe you when you tell him you understand his plight? Hello, Pib, Pib, Pibbles. I don't know, that's as high as I can get. There we go. I'm keep putting my camera in front of everything. You've watched a little bit of this game, haven't you? Pibbles. Uh-oh. Clue. My favorite part is the constant horrible animations that are wonderful. Side door guard Roscoe's date is inside by the bar wearing a mask. Who is the person behind the mask? Well, that doesn't help me now. I still need to get inside. It is great. I agree. Am I just gonna have to lose? Lose some battles? Cause how can I win some of these? I could tie that one. All right, let's wait. Sometimes it's the best thing. risky I'm gonna do it I'm gonna try this one don't lock it oh. all right I got four bucks that's a good one that's a good animation That's what I'm going to start doing to people. <laughs> you realize the guard will keep you all night if he feels like it. He's toying with you now, but you're the one who is ultimately in control. Self-awareness and patience flow through you. Why does he keep working his looking at the around the corner? I'm self-aware and patient. Let's try to deceive. A convincing explanation might fool the guard into thinking Chad Blueprint's waiting on a pizza order. Well, it's a lot of ones. Let's try. I accept. Hey, how are the sound levels, Pippi? Ooh, the guard whispers to me. You wouldn't change it, so you can't hear me at all, right? That's what I'm going for. Ooh, tell me a dirty little secret. 
Zululemon. Tell it to the side door guard. All right. Well, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, he's winking at me. No, sorry. Sorry to disappoint. Being half a decibel too high. I like that. It's like a small child. Oh, thank you. Into the kitchen. <clears throat> Basil, one of my favorite pizza additions. This should be on this one. We could have one of these on each two now. Okay. Now we have two pizzas. Basil. Yeah, same with um, Glacier, I think, what's his name, the, the guy that used to live in the woods and eat bugs, Bear Grylls, always said Glacier, I liked that. Anyway, let's talk about Flamingo's Thigh Stew. The chef is dawdling over the stew. Maybe you can help her to move on from it. You think you can prove this stew if you can relieve the chef of her kitchen responsibilities. Ooh, pickpocket. Let's see. Let's just go all in. All right, we'll try it. <laughs> That's how you pickpocket. Here's a set of old car keys sticking out of the shelf's back pocket. Just feel you were meant to have those keys. Okay, only once. Everyone join hands and pray. Okay. Not bad, not bad. That's... We could re-roll. I want that re-roll. Nope. Oh well. I think that gives it to us though. Yes. So oblivious. We got a key to the chef's car. Good to know. Oblivious. Let's talk to her. This flamingo's thigh stew is the hardest thing I've had to make in my whole career, but Big Mo wouldn't show up if we didn't serve it. Real peaceful work, that guy. She seems genuinely nervous about her stew. It will take some cajoling, but if you think you can get her to, but you think you can get her to like you, take over. Ask her to let me take over. Ooh. All of that's very low, but there's a lot of conditions. There's some bad conditions for that one. Let's see what else is in the room first. Ooh, cannot pick that lock. The 
the laser looks positively dangerous. The music you're about to listen to. Can you handle it? Are you experienced? Can I? Can I punch the laser? separates the kitchen from the bar. It is securely locked. Man, my skills are so bad right now. Alright, I'm gonna try my luck with the chef. Positively grimy. Perhaps you can spot a health code violation or two and use it to your advantage. It's a pretty fearless chef. Fine, I'll take it. Come on. There we go. <laughs> you notice a half-eaten saw fruit under the one of the ovens. The chef sees it too and looks at you sheepishly. Uh-oh. It's true I'm serving old fruit in the green room. Please don't tell anyone. She's on edge. Can you eat a flamingo? Is that allowed in life? I do want to try that one. I guess that's true, you can eat anything once. <laughs> you explain that you are here to offer relief. Oh, I just put on a hat. <clears throat> oh, 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 thank goodness. This is gonna be rough. Oh, hey. Hello, Edward. I can't, I can't see the screen, I'm sorry. Starting to feel like gambling. I'm getting excited now. 
She stops what she's doing, takes a look at you, and smiles. Pizza background, so you're the real deal. I just need a bit more time to finish up on the seasoning. The stew is specially made for Big Mo. I just want to make sure it's just right before serving it. For Mo, it'll never be right. Maybe I should call it a night and let you take over. So I could just ask her to let me take over. Or this. What happens if I fail at this? Will she resend her offer? Twilight Diner down the road waiting this one out. Let's meet up later and talk Dutch ovens. That sounds suspicious. That's how people leave. You can decide how much work you want to put into it before sending it off to Big Mo. Yeah, that's quite the exit, huh? Not unusual in, in this nightclub. One false move and it's ruined. Oh, all these are only ones and all of them are very high. I'm gonna go do something else for a little bit. The soup is simmering on the stove. Obviously it's not gonna do anything until I get back. Let's punch these lasers. going to a nightclub and I know nothing about music. Oh, I can step into the beams. Should I just step into them? Vote now. You decide that you just need to step in front of the laser. You feel its beams peering into the depths of your being. Oh no. Why did you do this? <laughs> Why did I listen to you? I, I just have to hope. Sometimes you just need to take it. That's, it. That's what I would do. As much as I would love to keep that. Oh wait, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna lose. What does that mean? You've done this to me. I'm critically hurt. Oh. Is how I enter most nightclubs painfully. Hey, that girl is sitting down, get in. Oh, the masked individual. Let's go talk to her.
The individual is overcome with sentimentality as she realizes Roscoe, the side door guard, is keeping the date. Roscoe, that gentle giant. We were gonna go out to the show for Sunday, for savory Sundays. That's gross. Okay, cool. There's a lot going on there. We'll talk to her later. I need red matter. The house manager, Kathleen, surveys her space. Business snooping. Let's see what's going on with Big Mo. More like big reputation, but he mostly just stays in his corner. The people he brings into his orbit, like Gemini J, are what worries me. Listen, Plumpo. Big Mo comes to the club low to two for, for two things: good food and good music. Serve him right, and you'll earn his trust. Okay. Gifted me this building. It was an old coffin factory run by his grandfather. Business was booming a hundred years ago, sure. But time changed and Nino wasn't interested. But he knew I could turn this into something. Did she kill Nina? Lumpo? Chap Blueprint's phoning it in. My patrons deserve better and so do you. I challenge you to pull yourself out of your situation and take over the decks. Help these dancers believe in a better sonic world. I do think I would do better than a professional in their career. Okay, so I do need to get out through the garage. Okay. We got some stuff to do. another laser. I don't think this one is as, as strong. Try to mimic a stern, authoritarian security voice, hoping it, hoping the override system will acknowledge it. Noise. Nice. One more. Let's get that four. Noise. Look at that. Your disguised voice is robotic and properly authoritarian. The laser system is downgraded. The trap is now disabled. Yeah, let's pass through. More of that. This guy's still out here. Alright, he's just hanging out.
The coat check attendant looks engrossed in her book, completely oblivious to you. The sole jacket behind her looks like it belongs to someone important. It's an opulent gem encrusted jacket you can feel wearing it may somehow help you in your mission. Let's hmm. request the blue coat. Yeah. Bluffing that we misplaced our tag. That's not too bad. Let's go a little higher and see what else we can get. like that I get the coat I'm steaming I'm terrified of that critically hurt condition Making a scene at the coat check get results. Time to huff and puff. Hey, best outcome for that thing. Okay. Three's not bad. Hopefully we can get a four. for tide. Do I want to go for four or just barely win? Let's go all out. Why not? Look at that. I can't do anything but win. Why are you being like this? I get that a lot. The coat check attendant is totally thrown off by you. You sense this could play to your advantage. What is it with you? Well, let's pump up our music a little. Just a little. Ooh, but I am fired up. Music in this woman's headphones are so loud that you think you might be able to recognize what she's playing. That's not too bad. I could do a little better with that though. Ooh, I do like having that. Let's keep it for now. Go. Well, not bad. Oh, bootleg live album. The coat check attendant seems more at ease around you. Observe what she's hiding behind her book. like a prop. Oh, wait, you can't see all my rolls over here. Branch, why didn't you tell me? I 
cameras covering up vital information. Pibbles. The coat room attendant seems to be transfixed on something behind the book. She senses you know this and immediately confesses. Oh! It's an entire tape recorder. Cry and stuff. I don't think I have anything. Yeah, I'll just walk away. Me too, really. I'm gonna ban you. I don't know how to do that. Dancers have been going at it all night, hypnotized by Chad Blueprint's oral, oral sonic spells. It's an intense crowd, barely aware of your presence. You think you might be able to keep pace with them? this track before nice yeah I don't need any more of that I got enough brains buddy I do need a heart Knowing the track allows your body to follow its various dynamic contours, providing intentionally intentionality to your shaggy moves. The crowd feels it. Okay, so they like me. They're starting to like me. I feel like I could get away with that. There's so much movement happening on the floor, you sense an opportunity. Oof. Oof. That is rough. I at least tied. Conscience, that's good. Oh snap, that was absolutely worth it. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna go engage that. I'll be right back. Where's the fastest pizza place? Good, let's go make some money. Oh, we haven't talked to the bartender yet. The bartender does not look human. They're not paying attention to me. Ooh, I could buy drinks for everybody.
I do need to up my music a little bit. I'll sing at the guy. Yeah, it's got a cool uh, just background beat. Oh, I did not mean to accept that. Oh well. <clears throat> oh, all the drinks on offer are watered down and overpriced. If you really want the good stuff, you gotta get behind the bar yourself. And uh, what am I serving you? And who's really serving who here? I don't know the art of bartending yet. You find yourself in front of the bar. This apparatus for making drinks is, of course, behind the bar. Let's see if I can leap over the bar. Oh. Sometimes a dramatic maneuver is necessary to get you where you need to be. Eight dollars. I've never been so excited. If I could double that. But also it might lose. But eight dollars, sixteen dollars, worth it. Critically hurt again. Oh boy. But I got so many doll hairs. I want to try again. can't afford to do that again. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go somewhere safe. Ooh, it's Big Mo. That must be my friend. This door has no handle and no other discernible way to get it open. this guy. The audio engineer is hard at work writing the house music so that it fills up the room beautifully. He looks... he's a weird shape. Why don't I get his attention and then pickpocket him? Distracted after all. All his pockets are wide open, just waiting for me. Jeez, everybody is on their game with their dice rolls. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that helps actually. Not tonight, sticky fingers. I appreciate that he keeps talking to me. There's a lot going on. I don't know. I didn't even look at that and I just. What's, what's wrong with me? Who's a good guy? Oh my gosh, he's so strong. He's so strong. You only say he's a good guy because you like music. Alright, I don't... Everything is just going to... Crap for me. Yeah, I'll stop talking to him. He's, every time I talk to him, he hurts me. Let's go talk to this guy. Dance for the guard, that's a normal thing. And the guard over through music appreciation. I will. No, I need to build up my hearts before I do anything that's critically endangered or critically hurt. Oh wait, I found out that this uh, lady's bootlegging everything. I got a snitch. particularly reinforced. Oh. But it's not that uh, hard to do it. Open the door, security. No, stop it. I don't want money. I want a heart. It's too confident. Jeez. You hear some stumbling on the other side, a lock being adjusted. The door is unlocked.
Here we go. More truth pepper. Nope, nope, go back in. The guard is engrossed in a tennis match being played by some other in some other part of the world. Wrestle the guard while he's distracted. No. Are you trespassing? Yes. Should I do anything about you? Depends. Explain yourself. I'll explain later. Oh no. Another one of these. Critically hurt. That could kill me. No, no, no. Mo won't receive any visitors until he gets his flamingo thighs too. Okay. Can I win any of these battles? I could sing for you. That's risky. That's too risky. Trapped. I just need to let myself go and dance. if you just start. Okay, not bad. I'll take it. Nice. The crowd rise to the beat alongside you. There's a lot going on. Oof, I gotta figure out if I should spread these out or... Or what? I'm not gonna get it high enough for that, so that's... Here, this will get me through now. Here's hoping I don't die. Running out of heart. That's right. Power dance. Fortunate. Every dice I rolled was unfortunate. Up, up. 
A tie. Just in time. I was so lucky. The vibrations of your stomp can be felt all throughout the dance floor. The other dancers gaze curiously at your noisy, unorthodox maneuvers. As they should. I'll jump over this now. Let's try one more time. Six, come on. Give me a reroll. Give me a reroll. This is. I'm never gonna make it over this bar. Negative two. Jesus. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it to six. See what happens. Oof. That's no good. Alright, that's not bad. I'll leave that part. Something higher than a three, man. Thank you. The individual seems more at ease around you. You think a bit more convincing is all it takes to get them to review, reveal their true identity to you. It's gonna take a lot of wisdom. Should I try to pickpocket her? Oh, she's looking at Chad Blueprint. out of here. And check this while I'm here. Deception's getting there, but not quite. yet. I am limber. That would help. Let's try it. I'm just going to punch the door. Seven. Of course. Height? 
do it. We'll just leave it. I'm so happy. There you go. Finally. The bartender, baffled by your ability to get behind the bar so brazenly. Jesus, that's a lot of alliteration. Acquiescences. Acquiescences. And the best booze is definitely within reach. You open a tab on the company card. Soon everyone in the club has a shot glass filled with Jimmy Palmer Green Label Goat Saliva Age Blend Whiskey. Tip top. I'm not a big whiskey guy, but that sounds pretty good. their night they'll be a bit more forgiving thank you thank goodness i don't want to talk to you anymore i want to dance oh no it's wit Technically, could win. I'm gonna try it. You know, this one step. We should have everyone in stitches. Oh, of course, that wasn't me. I thought I got the five. Jeez, Louise, this is. break. Everybody please hold. a replication of what happens when I go to a club. Wait. That'll make the difference. Let's try again.
liked it that time. They just had to see it more. simply break the laser. Said it couldn't be done, but here we are about to make a pizza and a toaster up. Alright. I'm gonna move this over here. I'll put one of the basils on that one. And I'll just fill this in with money. Counting the night's take. Engrossed by the tacility, tactility of the money he's counting. George slowly, is it George or Jorge? George, I'm gonna say George, slowly acknowledges your presence. Who the hell let you up here? Chad didn't ask for pizza tonight, and we're done doing sponsorships. Okay, so he doesn't have a lot of music knowledge, that's good. George manages DJs. He must know a thing or two about music. But so do you. Ooh, if I could get eight on that one, I would scream. Shut up. That has ruined my life tonight. Con you converse about music production veering towards mono mixes again. You learned a professional music production technique. It could prove useful if you decide to engage with Chad Blueprint on music matters. Mix mix and mono. Well, he's nonchalant about it. What do you really want? Oh, the fruit's old. Yes, Georgia Tech's Chad Blueprint, so he should be at ease if you step into the DJ booth. Okay, that's nice. Appreciate it. You're eating old fruit, buddy. You go into detail upon the health, health violations of the fruit. Five days old, left out in room temperature, possible bug nesting. Yeah, that's gross. George appears deeply uninterested in you. Okay. Try your fruit. Maybe we can try his fruit first and then try the other one. Oh yeah, I've played through this game probably 
I don't know, it has like eight different endings, and I think I've only gotten three or four. Oh, that's nice. Pretty good chance. Your eye spots two envelopes full of cash. What's going on here? What's going on here? Okay, so I'll at least tie. Four dollars. <throat> a hawk-eyed glance reveals a subtly uneven distribution of cash in the two envelopes. You bring this to Jorge's or George's attention. It's not like that. George's flustered state a piece of paper has slipped out of his jacket unbeknownst to him. It looks like a performance contract for Chad Blueprint, but you're not quite sure. What do you want, stranger? I'm just trying to represent the client the best I can. Uh-oh. He feels threatened. And distracted by fruit. Um, let's, before I engage in that, I want to put this on my pizza. sharper than it look, but it'll take concentration to make out the contract. You can do it. No money. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Is that still kind of in the way? We'll put it up there now. giving you the power to see a bad contract a mile away and this one's a doozy The mirror is 
is cold and you feel the face above appear into your being. A green drawer locked calls your name. See if I don't think I've ever done the music one with this guy. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Jor, what? What are you talking about? Is that a Tim Robinson thing? That's about as well as that could have gone. I don't know what you're talking about. Explain it to me through text. <laughs> more words to life it likes what it hears oh my goodness I found so much fresh mozzarella I'm sorry your fingers are broken I had no idea on your day off too alright I killed the mirror I've never broken my fingers, so it hasn't happened to the very best of us yet. to prevent DJ entourages from crashing the stage the green room door stays locked through the performance uh oh say with security and demand to be let through that one has not failed me yet Take it. See ya. And I'm on stage. Ooh, give me that. More. Chap Blueprint is busy rocking the crowd with his world class DJ abilities. He's barely aware of your presence. What is it, mate? I don't remember asking for a pizza up here in the booth. That's a problem. I know that. I've already talked to him, buddy. Your, your guy just hates you. That Sly Cobra. I have so much mozzarella. Look at this. I'm almost... It's just pizza with mozzarella on it. That's true. 
Oh, thank you for entertaining my presence. Oh, that is a, a high skill check. I can't talk to you. You're too powerful. Oh, you still get your support. Let's try. Who isn't? <laughs> yeah. What is this? You can talk. Oh, <laughs> of course you're testing. It's like mango, pineapple, and tropical sugar. <clears throat> okay. Cocoa. Look, I have one viewer. It's, it's French? Pib Pibbly, yeah. Hey, Pibbly. You're a mozzarella master. What is this? What did I just drink? <laughs> Mango, pineapple, coconut milk, sherbet. But it's missing something. Yeah. Yeah, it needs something. Is it cayenne? Or? Cayenne? I don't know, something. Basil? Basil? She probably is. She did not see that. So, we'll just assume, yeah. Oh, nice. I got his dice. I like that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Give me that money. Oh my gosh, he's dancing with me. Mozzarella. Nice. Yes, please. Finally appreciates me. I'll leave. I want your mask. <clears throat> what is it gonna take to get your mask on my head? Oh, I have the this the switcheroo dice. Got him. Nice. Did it change color? Tropical, it's tropical punch with sherbet. Is this the same thing? No, this one's tropical punch okay. with sherbet. I don't know if you like added it. <laughs> I like the donut has a more even flavor, I think. Nice. 
The mask comes off and the woman underneath introduces herself as Janice, Chad Blueprint's mom. You now know the truth. That is a face. Sure, later. Oh, you can have it. Kissing everyone's better. Oof. That's a lot. Yeah, let's just get everything. A reroll, that's not bad. See if we can talk to this guy again. He won't recognize me. <laughs> Impress the engineer with your musical knowledge. Who actually have musical knowledge now? That's good. Oh, that was everything. Yeah, so we'll definitely do that. The engineer shirt has the name Salad Slosher printed on it. You actually might know the band. It's a lot of mozzarella. Call Salad Slosher or a local bar band with a small devoted following. You praise their bold use of a singing saw to the engineer. Here's the mixing trick they used to make sure the saw did not cause any feedback on stage. Nice. You a sly gazabo. Oh, 
I'll try it. You encourage the engineer to call it a night and insist that you'll do a good job filling his shoes. Hey Pibbly, I know you're half watching, but you need to whole watch for this for this guy's uh, exit. Gig sucks, but you'll do fine. And the way he goes. All right. Move the knobs deliberately to perceive achieve a precise mix. Is that physique? Let's try him. Oh wow. That's a bit of a gap. So that will help. With the knobs and a great house mix. People are dancing even more wildly than before because they feel the oomph from the bass and the nuance of the treble. Nice. A good house mix will bolster your dancing and DJ abilities. Oh, that would have helped when I was dancing. Go talk to this guy. Oh, I could wrestle him. Deception. Let's try that. Fun. You tell the guard that in addition to moonlighting is a pizza pizza e, e ooh, that's a word. Pizza e o lo. You're from IT. Need to reboot the system and need the password. That's what I like to see. He goes, just like everyone else.
need to up my cooking a bit. Yeah, we'll try that. Always six. I'm just gonna take that. <clears throat> the bartender confesses that he's actually going to walk out on the job and join the bartender workers strike. The details of his plans are juicy like a whiskey sour. Alright, time to snitch. I cannot, I'm sorry. The is well, come over here and look at it for a little bit. Kinda, yeah. I am a secret agent and in getting into a nightclub to get someone else out, but I'm disguised as a pizza delivery guy. That's the basic premise. Give me that security room code. Mango Studebaker. Hey, that dude lied to me. Gave me the wrong code. your consciousness we'll come back we'll do that later let's go see what's back here As you approach the car, you feel a vibration right through your sternum. Is the car growling at you? Is it? <clears throat> Cars revved up and ready. A possible getaway ride. Good to know. this dude nice 
nice. Times three. That's not bad. I'll take it. <clears throat> the stew looks ready to be served, but part of you thinks it could be even better, which would impress Big Mo even more. Is stew perfection worth the risk of ruination? Let's try it. waiting <clears throat> you just have to wait for the right moment to turn down the burner you waited too long. The vegetables and stew turn to mush and the flamingo's thigh meat dissolves. The stew is on its way to being served. You know it's ruined. Dang it. It's gonna hurt. A little later. At a certain point you just have to let the meal be served. Come what may. Familiar panicked voice blares from the radio. This appears to be Jay's impromptu safe room. Thing is, Muriel didn't mention a safe room. And this equipment looks too high tech for a simple info gathering job. What's going on here? Observation is so low. I don't think I did. Did I? I don't think I did. Go talk to these guys. Big Mo glares at the stew angrily. Have a taste of this slut. It takes Big Mo a moment to realize that you've done something he's really not happy about. What's the pizza delivery person doing here wearing my coat? Oh, no. This is going to be bad. You say that you know this coat maker, Sylvia, who wanted to make to style a pizza makers. What? Does that make sense? Oh, I love that switch dice. That helps so much. Just 
don't hit it again. Confesses that this coat isn't actually an authentic Sylvia coat. It's a cheap knockoff, and Moe's planning to flood the market with dozens more, regardless of how that affects Sylvia's business. Okay. cool demeanor immediately curdles. <clears throat> he eventually regains his composure, but you can tell he's clearly rattled by his own mother's presence in the club. already into it, why not get Chad involved? by that. VIP status. In spite of the pressures of the evening, Chad Blueprint appears relaxed in your presence. Let's see if I can do this without upgrading and then upgrade the wit. Is Blueprint using his phone to help in his DJ? Nice. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Blueprint is using software on his phone to help with his beat matching. Embarrassed, he immediately hides his phone. You realize this simple technique could help your DJing as well. I'm so not witty. particularly good DJ centric anecdote which is really a joke in disguise It too. His smile widens across his face. A lot of people don't know how to laugh in the DJ booth. That's true. Alright, let's just let's just do it and see what happens. You think this track might be Burdock Root by the Nest Eggs? Wolf 8. Come on. Okay, well, obviously, we'll redo that one. And everything else. Nice, that's exactly what I wanted. A focused music conversation ensues. I don't know if I can get him to leave already, but I'll try. You attempt to convince Chad Blueprint that he should make a dramatic exit. Which we know now is just flying through the ceiling. Nice, look at that. Come on, times eight. make some really strong points about performing artists' rights and keeping a healthy sleep schedule. And he's out. Ride the decks to glory, Pompo. Uh-oh. As you step up to the decks, the crowd looks at you confused while you're taking over for Chad Blueprint. You'll have to prove to these revelers that you can rise to Blueprint's level. You contemplate what sort of journey you'll be taking these dancers on when you ride the wheels of steel. Ooh, these are some high... I'll leave that for a bit. stopping place. I'm gonna save. Uh, what's his name? Plumpo.
Hey, thanks for hanging around, Pip. Enjoying this music with me. I'll talk to you later, man.